Hello, I thought I'd start a vlog today. It's Saturday. I just did a spooky workout and I know Halloween is over, but I'm still enjoying the decorations. We kind of put them up a little late. If you really enjoy kind of the fall time, it's nice to keep it going a little bit. Whatever you feel like is fine. I think I am going to go for a walk outside. It's still a little sunny late afternoon. Maybe listen to the Anna Green Gables with Megan Follows soundtrack, like I said in a previous video. I think that that would be fun to have a nice November autumn walk with that background where I feel like I'm in the movie. And then I'll probably probably do some of my Disney villains retro. I can't remember the name, but I'll show you the box Lego that I've been working on. I'm I think almost halfway through. Definitely going to be doing some reading. I'm reading Emily of New Moon currently with my copy that I got when I was in PEI. I'm also reading Throne of Glass, the Assassin's Blade. And again, I'm a little over halfway in that too. Honestly, that was just as good as I was hoping it would be. I came back from my walk listening to Anna Green Gables soundtrack. I highly suggest doing it any time of year. Pick your favorite soundtrack. It makes you feel like you're in it. This one was super peaceful for me. And you know what? You should do more things that you want to do and you say you're going to do, especially if it's as easy as going for a walk and putting on your favorite movie soundtrack. <music> So it is the next night. I ended up watching Puppy Love on Amazon Prime with Lucy Hale. It's a rom-com. It wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. I only ended up giving it a two out of five stars on Letterboxd, which is an app kind of similar to Goodreads, except you log and review your movies that you watch. So if you're a movie person, maybe I'll start linking down below in the description my profile so you can add me as a friend if you'd like. I always love to see what people are watching and enjoying. So I ended up doing that last night instead of Lego. I think I might show you the Lego box and my progress and maybe finish it tomorrow instead with better light. Lately, every night, I've been reading a bit of Emily of New Moon. So I'm doing that right now. I'm just on Kendall's Pages Sprints, just taking a little break to vlog, but then I'll get back to reading. And I've also really enjoyed tabbing my books. I started doing that with a couple books like Foxglove, my favorite points in a book so that I can just, I don't know, it is a more enjoyable process. And then I can look back on it and I don't know, it looks so pretty. Just got these ones that are pink and purple. I thought those colors were really pretty. A lot of the books that I've been reading kind of goes with that color scheme. Speaking of reading, I also got onto Fable recently and there are some things that I like about it. I can't remember if I've talked about this in a video yet before, but I like the fact that you can also log your TV shows and I like the wrap up thing that you can show on your social media of all the books that you've read that month. I'm still discovering it, so I'm not sure all of the things that it has to offer, but I like it. I, f I was finding it difficult because there's all these other book apps. I don't like being on so many things. It just creates more work than fun, but I've been enjoying discovering what things are on Fable, and now I think I'm going to get back to some reading. <music> It is the next day and I got some more reading done of Emily of New Moon and I'm just loving this. It's similar to Anne of Green Gables but slightly different. I feel like Emily is a bit younger probably. She sounds like it at least in this. I think she's 11 when we start out with the first book. I believe there's three. I'm about almost halfway through. As you can see I'm really enjoying it having up some great sentences and quotes in this. There's still some intriguing and fun things in it because 
when you think of a classic, sometimes you think, oh, it's just boring, it's describing things, just everyday life. But even in itself, that is really interesting because it's not our everyday. Besides that, there are also still some points where she gets stuck in a couple things. And I feel like there's going to be a hint of some childhood romance, which I'm really excited about because when I watched the show, there definitely was. So I'm excited about that. I'm specifically excited about the character Perry in this. The friendship that she has with Ilsa is really interesting too and it's got more of a kind of, I don't know if I would say gothic, but a bit more of a um, darkness to it compared to Anne and Green Gables, similar to actually the cover. It's kind of got those darker colors going on in, in the story as well. Today I'm finally going to work on some of the Lego that I was telling you about. So this is the set. Like how cool is that? It's like Disney villains retro with the cassette tape and books and as you can see in the background I've built some of the pieces already. This comes off to reveal the, the witch and we've got Peter Pan, Hook, little playing card, Alice in Wonderland, and a little character from Aladdin. So that's what I've got so far as well as this piece. So we've got the Aladdin one there on the bottom and then I'm starting the Beauty and the Beast piece here. <laughs> I made some progress on the Lego. I'm not quite finished. I will see you in my next video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!